You may have heard of a Butemeta in Lagos, a commercial hub with some historic site. It doesn't, however, seem all is well there as infrastructure gap generates apprehensions among some of the young people there. We visited to hear them out. A Butemeta East, or Oyimbo to be precise, is a commercial hub in Lagos with numerous businesses and trading activities. What is, however, worrisome for the youth around here is the seeming neglect they've been put through by various local government administration over the years. The environment speaks volume of the sanitary condition and available infrastructure in the area. Also very disappointing for them is the state of the Lagos Mainland Library, which was once a rallying point for academic conscious people in the locality. It's so painful that we don't have a library any longer. Because then, when we're younger than this, when you are at home, when you are through your O-level examination, the next thing you see your parents tell you is, be going to the library, be going to the library. But finally, there's nowhere to tell the kids to go to any longer, except from the football playing ground. And this is an area where the majority of the parents are not so educated. So where you get to be educated, where you get to meet people that could inspire you to reach, used to be the library. Where you have free ICT trainings and who used to be the library. But unfortunately, when you get there now, artisans have taken over, you see car wash, the, the most painful thing is that the business aspect of the library, which is the business center that I was with, is working. Where the reading room, which is supposed to be the purpose of building that library, is not working any longer. We have made appeal to government several times. We have done advertorials, but yet they, do, they have not you know, yielded to our call. So we plead that private investors, government at the state level, should come in to take over this, you know, this particular project. The federal government have been saying that they want the youth to be enlightened. It is a youth, it is a set of youth that are enlightened that could take Nigeria to a particular level where you want it to be. It's a pity that we have the Department for Petroleum Resources in this country, we have departments managing other things in the states, but we do not have a department managing human resource, which is the greatest asset a nation can ever have. There is a library that ought to serve that purpose of human capacity development. Unfortunately, it is not functional. It has become you know, pack for kekena peps and all what not. Now imagine a community with an average population of youth without a library, a functional library, where we can read, where we can think, where we can brainstorm. Youths are left to gamble, to 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 become what they ought not to be in a community. What we run around now, first is for this library to be renovated something not even renovated something entirely new modern where we can learn about information communication technology our younger ones can learn about coding you know new 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 knowledge base should be should be should be propagated via this library so some something new should be put in place for us and from there we move ahead When it rains, they claim it's usually trouble for them as the drainage get over flooded, spilling its content onto the road. The road is just untidy. There's a lagoon there, over there. It's very, it's very, very bad. If you go there now, you see the road, is, uh, the gutter there is in deep. It's very deep inside. Because uh, this is a road that links into the market. That, uh, all the cars are supposed to go, go inside the market through, through this road, but they can't go there because of the bad road uh, in, the, in the junction. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. You see now, you can go there, film all the road. See our palace there, see, see, the, see the Bebali Palace there. It's, it's already rough. Furthermore, some of the roads have become totally impossible, such as Kadara, Herbert Macaulay, and Market Roads. The canal has been blocked for over 15 years for 14 years to this time. And the canal is coming from, from Abat Macaulay Way that is beside the library. So it leads to Kadara. 
to Redemption Way and fell into the lagoon. So the issue is that the canal has been blocked to the extent that there are some years ago that people come to people come and dropped um what's it called um sand and everything they pour it inside the canal so that's that's what makes the canal to be to block and what since the canal since the canal has blocked so the street has also got spoiled um when it is raining nobody can pass here and this canal street by redemption way has been turned to cap and um, tazi tazi park so that's the issue about this street. As Lagos begins the construction of more roads across the state, the people appeal for attention. I want to appeal that governments subsequently should assess roads with importance before they embark on any project. We, have the, we, are, we are aware that the Lagos state government has been telling leaders in each area to submit names of streets to, to be built. And we have realized that instead of looking at streets that have economic importance and other importance within the area, our leaders usually pick roads that only favor the route to their own houses and not the one that have direct impact on the masses. Let's take for instance, this is in the market. And to assess this market, traders cannot even carry their own loads. And when they need to do that, they have to pay extra money to, you know, to assess it. It means that there will be increased in, you know, in the amount in which they will be selling goods. And at the end of the day, we begin to say there's inflation. Not only that, it is little, little, the little things that government have not done or that have refused to do are the ones you know, causing this particular damage. Oyibo continues to play a very vital commercial role in Lagos. The young people must be adequately engaged educationally with a functional and befitting library. And an urgent infrastructure upgrade would go a long way in keeping commerce here in top shape.